Hey everyone, welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux. We will dive into the latest in open source tech and Linux distributions. Today, I am excited to talk about the upcoming Ubuntu 26.04 LTS, codenamed Resolute Raccoon. If you are a Linux enthusiast, developer, or just curious about what's next in the Ubuntu's world, this is for you. Canonical has just rolled out the first functional daily build ISO images for this release. And I'll break down what that means, what's inside, and what to expect moving forward. Let's get into it. First off, a quick recap for those new to Ubuntu. Ubuntu is one of the most popular Linux operating system out there. Known for its user-friendly interface, stability, and strong community support. The LTS stands for long-term support, which means this version will get updates and security patches for a full five years after its final release, right up to until April 2031. It is perfect for business, servers, or anyone who want a reliable setup without constant upgrades. As of right now, October 26, 2025, this daily builds mark the official start of the development cycle for Resolute Raccoon. Earlier attempts at daily builds had some issues, but these new ones are up and running smoothly. They are essential based on the recently released Ubuntu 25.10, codenamed Questing Coca, which dropped on October 9th. So, if you've been using 25.10, this will feel familiar at first. Under the hood, it's powered by the Linux kernel 6.17 and features the GNOME 49 desktop environment, which brings improved performance, better accessibility tools, and a polished user experience. Over the next six months, these daily builds will evolve significantly. Canonical plans to incorporate cutting edge technologies like the Mesa 25.3 graphics stack for enhanced gaming and visuals an upgrade to the Linux kernel 6.19 and a shift to the GNOME 50 desktop. There's even talk that the final version might ship with Linux kernel 6.20, expected around early April 2026. But sticking with the LTS kernel like 6.18 could be a safer bet for long-term stability. This development period is all about testing, refining, and adding features that make Ubuntu even better for everyday users, developers, and enterprises. You can grab this daily build ISOs right now from Canonical's official download site. And it's not just the standard Ubuntu. Flavors like Kubuntu, Subuntu, and Lubuntu are also available with their respective desktop environments carried over from 25.10. This is great for early testers who want to get a sneak peek or help iron out bugs. That said, a word of caution. These are pre-release versions, so they are not meant for your main computer or any critical work. They might have glitches, compatibility problems, or other hiccups that could disrupt your workflow. Always test them in a virtual machine or on a SPAR machine. And remember to back up your data. If you are reporting issues, head over to the Ubuntu bug tracker to contribute. That's how the community makes these releases rock solid. Looking ahead, the beta version should land in early April 2026, followed by the release candidate about a week before the big day. The final stable release is slated for April 23rd, 2026, and it will be a major milestone, building on Ubuntu's reputation for security, ease of use, and innovation. If you are planning to try it out or just want to stay updated, drop a comment below. What features are you most excited about? Hit that like button if this helped. Subscribe for more Linux news and tutorials. And turn on notifications so you don't miss our deep dives into upcoming releases. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.